What's up guys? Welcome back to the Jun Fun. We are going to do Streets of New Capenna again. Part 2. Can you believe it? Uh, so it's been a couple of days since the set came out. Uh, some pre-release, well, actually technically it hasn't come out yet, but pre-release has happened. And, uh, you know, experience the cards on Arena, see what's out there, what's powerful, what's holding value, things like that. Um, so you know what? We're going to go ahead and crack this bad boy open again. It's going to be kind of a quicker one this time around since we know the cards that are in there. But, uh, yeah, let's get after it, baby. Riveteers. All right, guys, let's get this bad boy open. But first off, new playmat in the house. That's right. Uh, if you're not familiar, this is... Dark Ritual from the Japanese Mystical Archives that came out during Strixhaven, where they basically kind of went around and did some famous, you know, cards and art from Magic's history and redid it in a Japanese art style. Obviously, I'm a huge fan of Japanese culture, anime, things like that, so I had to grab this. And Dark Ritual is one of those, you know, super famous cards that I'm, you know, a big fan of, obviously, as a heavy black player. Um, so, yeah, it was just super cool. Had to get it. But anyway... Let's get this going, huh? All right. So last box, or first box rather, uh, was pretty good. You know, it wasn't like the best box in the world. Um, but, you know, it was still a really good box, honestly. Um, it was a very Riveteers, you know, Jund box, basically. Uh, which was pretty funny, pretty cool. But, uh, you know, obviously we want to see if we can get some big hitters in this one as well. Um, Obnixilis, the, uh, the adversary rather, is still the biggest card in the, uh, in the set. And it's sitting around like $50 right now. We pulled one of those last time. Man, struggling to pack already. Um, and, uh, you know, see if we can pull another one of those guys and go from there. The list slot is apparently fixed. So, you know, we'll see if we can get some more gas on that one. So we'll burn through here. Got the charm. All right, body launderer for the first mythic. Okay, and then a foil uncommon. All right. Boy, they glued those packs. So I'm gonna have to do a little strip guy here, which is fine. All right, there's the art card. All right, Corpse Explosion, pretty good rare, doing some work in a standard right now, that's at least for sure. Um, so we got that, I'll put that down there. All right, so what do you guys think about New Capenna? Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Um, you know, what family have you found most fun to play or, you know, certain cards, archetypes, things like that? Let me know down in the comments below. And our Vazi Keen Negotiator, so this is one of the Commander ones, and go figure, it's in Jun, so that's pretty cool right there. Evolving Door, and a Foil Common, alright, so we'll put our Rares down there. Keep on moving here. So as far as prices are concerned, the same cards that were, you know, expected to be of value still are sitting pretty valuable, honestly. Um, like I said, Obnixless being the big one there. All right, Toulouse Clever Conductor. So we got a good rare there. And that's about it. No cards from the list yet, which is kind of surprising. So I'm pretty sure last video, we had a list card in like the second pack. So maybe they're just saving good stuff for me, right? One can hope. Let's see. Oh, uh, hey, Jenny Faye Jetmere second. All right, this is a card that I am super in love with. Wish I had pulled it in the first box, but super stoked to pull it in the second box here. Uh, it basically just creates cats and dogs anytime you create a token of any kind, and I think that is awesome. I'm a huge cat person myself. Love dogs as well, but cats are superior. Fight me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm super stoked on that. Definitely going to build a deck around here for sure. So that is pretty cool, and that is it. Weirdly enough, she is stronger than uh, the actual Jetmere, you know, the guy that actually leads the Cabaretti. So maybe she should be in charge. Go figure, right? The woman behind the man is way more powerful than the actual guy himself. Shocking. All right, we got a cool foil full art mountain there. That looks really sick, actually. All right, let's see what we got. And Extraction Specialist. And that is it. Man, nothing from the list yet. This is kind of concerning. I mean, 
We are already almost a third of the way through this box and don't have a single card from the list. A little weird. I don't think I've ever gone this long without having a list card. Alright, and Endless Detour. And okay, there we go. So, Vernig Riders cha uh, Chaplain. Another one of those, um, you know, Stranger Things slash, you know, Secret Layer kind of cards here. I do believe this one is supposed to be Lucas, if I remember right. Um, and the art is supposed to be him with, like, his little, uh, uh, what do you call it, his slingshot. But, uh, yeah, cool. We'll take that there. So there is our first rare from the list slot. Only took, uh, like, what, eight packs? <laughs> so we'll see what we got here. Flip it over. Uh, yeah, this set's just been super cool, man. Like, all the events that have come out so far around have been super fun to watch. Yeah, they did an amazing job. Oh, there we go. Vivian on the hunt for the mythic. Hell yeah. Super sick. Uh, this card is basically Birthing Pod uh, on a Planeswalker, which is bananas. That very first ability there. Uh, if you're not familiar, Birthing Pod, super strong card in Commander, in Modern Play, where basically it's sacrifice a creature and then tutor up one, a creature that has that converted mana cost plus one and put it onto the battlefield. This is that on a Planeswalker that you can just repeat that ability over and over. Um, yeah, that is super spicy. We will take that all day. All right. Keep going here. Keep on going. We didn't get a lot of the crime boss fan, like, you know, heads uh, last time, so hopefully we get more of those guys. Shakedown Heavy and Mass Bandits. And, ooh, okay, I got another Mythic from the list slot. Actually, this is from, yeah, this is from the list slot here. Um, Commander 21, Cassetto Orochi Archmage. It's a little Simic Commander. Okay, so he's like, he's a Snake Commander. That makes sense, Snake Wizard. All right, that's, that's cool. We'll take that. Nothing too crazy. I have seen people, though, online in their set booster boxes getting, like, Vampiric Tutor, Sakashima Student, which is like $65, um, Anointed Procession, like, just crazy, crazy pulls, so hopefully we do the same thing, right? Right Spread Thieving for the rare, and a little Gilded Foil Uncommon there, pretty cool. And Master of the Wild Hunt, alright, so that's our second Mythic from the list slot here, a little Human Shaman. Uh, but yeah, this is from the 25th, or uh, Masters 25 uh, set, basically, so, alright, pretty cool. Nothing too wild there with that. I would like something a bit spicier, though. But so far, this is kind of a, kind of a meh box. Nothing too wild. Alright, let's see, there was our rare there, Rego Streetwise Mentor. Tenacious Underdog, so double rare. Evolving Door for the Foil Rare, so triple rare pack, so three rares in a row there. That's actually pretty cool. Um, none of them really worth a ton, though, which that kind of sucks, but I feel like that always happens, right? Like, any pack where you get multiple rares like that, they're never of, like, super good value. Just kind of how they balance it, I guess. All right. Park Heights Pegasus. For the rare. And ooh, okay, alright. Arvanox the Mind Flail. So this is supposed to be the Mind Flayer from Stranger Things. So that's pretty cool. The mythic from the list slot there. Put that up there. Alright. Approaching the halfway point of the box here. List slot's been okay. Nothing too crazy. Otherwise, we haven't really pulled a ton in this one, just kind of. Disappointing. Hostile Takeover. Pretty cool. And that is it. Alright. So consensus from this set is that Obnixilis is broken, which I did tell you guys about. I mentioned when we opened it last video that that card is bananas, and sure enough, it's bananas, and it's real gross to play against, and nobody likes it. So, we'll see if it gets banned. Oops, wow, speak of the devil, right on cue. Man, that's kind of crazy how that worked out. Obnixless the adversary. So, yeah, this dude is bonkers. He is just ridiculous. Who would have guessed that creating a non-legendary token copy of this Planeswalker would be gross? Yeah, who could have seen that coming? And that is about it. So, 
All right, biggest card in the set right there, $50, pretty sweet. Whether he will get banned or not, we shall see. If he gets banned, the value will drop, obviously, but um, it's possible depending on which formats he gets, he gets banned in, if he gets, drops a lot or not, but we'll see. Reservoir Kraken for the rare. And Jigan the Rising Star. Okay, so one of the Elder Dragons from Kamigawa. Pretty cool. Not too crazy, though. All right. So we're getting some different cards on the list this time around, but I feel like last time we were hitting... Hitting some bigger stuff, but, <clears throat> excuse me, but, uh, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. Not every box is going to be a winner, but we still have half a box left, so we'll see. <clears throat> All right, Incandescent Aria, pretty cool, and a little, not gilded foil or regular foil for any reason, but, uh, you know, the old kind of gilded frame, basically. Pretty cool. Professional Face Breaker, awesome card, I'm telling you, super cool. And that is it. All right, let's get going. Doo -doo -doo. Another one of the foil, full art basics. Pretty sweet. All right, Arcane Bombardment for the Mythic. Um, another card's actually been doing some work uh, in pre-release so far. Very good card. Um, you know, being able to copy spells down here and stuff like that uh, without paying you know their mana costs is pretty sick. Um, so yeah. Definitely stoked to have that. And, all right, another one of the Stranger Things secret layer cards there. Safina, Spear Sage, Deserter. Pretty cool. For the rare. All right. Almost two-thirds of the way through the box here. Thanks for watching, as always. Thanks for getting my last video above the views of the previous video within a day, which is nuts. So I appreciate that. Spiteful Repossession. For the rare, hey, Agnes the Dragon's Lash, one of my personal favorites in this set. Cool rare right there. And hey, Falka Smaris, Patchweaver. All right, cool. Uh, we pulled him last time. <clears throat> this is the foil version, actually. The foiling in this set is very subtle. Um, I don't know if that's purposeful or if it just seems that way compared to the gilded foil they have. Um, oh, that's kind of funny. He's actually right there. Pretty sweet. But uh, yeah, cool, all right. So we've pulled two Falcos now in two boxes, which is hilarious because I am like the farthest thing away from a Bant player you could possibly get. Uh, and that's who they give me is the Bant Commander. So, you know, is what it is. We'll see if we can get somebody else though. Uh, Jax is the Troublemaker. Another really good card as well, that Blitz mechanic, super strong. All right. All right, second third of the box done right here. There's that Nicholas, the art card, pretty cool. And these art cards make really good proxies, by the way, if you haven't done that yourself yet. Haven Heart Stabber, pretty sweet. All right, and Shattered Seraph. You know, we pulled the gilded version of this last time, and I feel like everybody gets this specific uncommon in the gilded foil, or common rather. It's Kind of crazy, and honestly, for being a common, it has a huge text box, which is just nuts, because, I don't know, not even that long ago, commons were garbage, <laughs> you know? All right, here's our mythic from the list slot here, Admiral Beckett Brass, uh, Grixis, Legendary Pirate, so it's a pirate lord. Eh, you know, that's all right. I don't really like pirates too much, it's never really been my thing. <clears throat> as far as Ixalan is concerned, I'm more of a dinosaur player myself, but, you know, teach their own. All right. Ba -ba -bum. Shadow of Mortality for the rare. Foil Mr. Orfeo. Cool, cool. I do like that card quite a bit. All right. Let's see what we got. Ba -ba -ba. All right, Sparus Headquarters. So, all right, we're just getting all the Falco Sparus stuff, apparently, all the brokers. So our first rare land. Getaway car and broker initiates. All right, that was a very broker's pack right there. Flip that over. Meeting of the five. Okay, we pulled that last time. Kind of the the bulk mythic of the set, and that is it. All right, we're getting towards the end here, guys. 
Nothing too crazy. I mean, I would love a Sakashima student in the list slot or a you know, Vampiric Tutor or something really juicy. Let's see what we got, though. Broker's Ascendancy, actually a very good card. Every end, At the beginning of your end step, just put a plus one, plus one counter on everything you control. And a loyalty counter on your Planeswalker is actually pretty freaking good. Alright, another one of the Secret Layer uh, Stranger Things cards here. We've pulled this before. This is 11. We all know that. So a lot of the same ones. Those guys aren't really super valuable either. They're like a dollar a piece. Um, which is pretty apparent considering that they seem to be, you know, pretty heavy in the list slot there. But hey, you know, I'll take those cool cards over, like I said, junk commons. So, Errant Street Artist in the alternate frame there. Alright, Maestro's Diabol er, Diabolist. Yeah, that's a weird name. And that's it. Alright, only got a few packs left here. We'll get going with that. Unlicensed Hurst, and that's it. Alright, we'll get going. Ba -ba -bum. And fight rigging. That's it there. Three packs left. See what we get in the close here. Zeotora's Envoy, pretty cool. Ognis in the alternate frame foil, pretty sweet. We'll take that. Two packs left here. You might hear a train go by. If you do, I apologize. I live right next to train tracks, and sometimes I get lucky and they don't show up in the video, but sometimes they're in a video. Hey, all right, the Beantown Bullies. This has turned this around for me. All right, sweet. I don't care if the train's in the background. Who cares? Uh, Beantown Bullies, baby, for the Mythic. I love this card. This card is so cool, and you can do some real degenerate stuff with them in a commander game. I'm stoked. Heck yeah. Sanguine Spy for the rare. Yeah, that's it. All right, guys. Last pack magic. Here we go. Can we get one more big banger of a card? I'm telling you, if I pull like a Sakashima student, that would be insane. This pack is spiting me, by the way. That was embarrassing to open. Good lord. Let's see what it is. Another Sparrow's Headquarters. Man, they really want me to play band. All right, that was it. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. As always, uh, you know, not as crazy of a box as box one there, but you know, still got some really sick cards uh, to have this. I've been wanting to build a commander deck around this, these dudes. Um, just such a fun card. Got that Vivian of the Hunt. Got another Obnixilis as well. Um, that I could just flip, you know, for 50 bucks basically, get the money back. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, as always. Be sure to like and subscribe, share it around, and as always, follow me on my social media, showing up on the screen right about now. And yeah, stick around, guys. I might do a video this weekend talking about the list and how they've improved it. We'll see, though. I got some busy stuff going on this week. But uh, yeah, as always, thanks, guys. Have fun and play Magic.